The snow has arrived in West Michigan. This is a live look at the lakeshore in Grand Haven. There will not be any shortage of lake effect snow over the next 24 hours. A look to Storm Track Live now tells the story. It's lit up blue as this winter storm crawls across the region. Storm Team A meteorologist Matt Kirkwood is here to track the storm and give us a look ahead in your Storm Team 8 forecast. Hey, Matt. Yeah, when I first got into work this morning, we were wondering when is this system going to kick in? But now that it has, it certainly is here. You can't even see the pier in that view in Grand Haven. So visibility has been continuing to go down, indicating that heavier snow now that has developed here across West Michigan. Here's the latest on Storm Track Live radar. Kind of focus where this deeper shade of darker blue is. That's really where the worst of the conditions are. But the radar is also overshooting some of that as it heads further north out of Kent County. Nonetheless, though, if you have any travel plans, I'd say, you know, US 131 in the Wayland area, all the way up to, I would say, yeah, northern parts of Kent County, the Kent City area, Sand Lake. All the way to uh, Coopersville and also I 96, 196 to Hudsonville. That's going to be very problematic in terms of traveling out there, especially north south oriented roads, because we have a west southwest wind out there that's sometimes gusting around 40 miles an hour. So you get that cross drifting. Broad view of Storm Track Live radar. Want to show you this as well. You can see what's on this side of the lake. Also, the moisture not being fed by Lake Michigan uh, is deep all the way to our west. So, this is all going to continue pivoting in. So, we're going to see several hours, I would say, of moderate to heavy snow, especially where you see the visibility the lowest in this lighter shade of gray right now, which does include Grand Rapids, just north of Allegan, includes Holland and Muskegon, and just about up to the Nuego and Fremont area as well. And that's really where the most challenging travel is going to be. Here's a quad cam setup and check out Grand Rapids there looking straight down to, at the Ford Freeway interchange in US 131. You can see Kalamazoo visibility not quite as low. Muskegon getting a little bit of a break there, visibility up in Muskegon. Here's the wind and that's problematic as well and you'll be able to see some of those gusts again right around 40 miles an hour in the Holland location 38 in Grand Rapids 32 currently in uh, Kalamazoo. Temperatures right now, they're actually warmer to our north as that colder Arctic air wraps in on the south side of this area of low pressure. Notice how everything kind of converges up around the Straits area. Right now, currently 24 degree temperature. Then you have the wind chill that's only eight above in Grand Rapids and five above in Kalamazoo. And the, I think as that cold air, the Arctic air continues to filter in this afternoon, we'll be dealing with wind chill temperatures probably pretty close to lower single digits Grand Rapids and even below zero once you head to the south where the lake is not modifying the air. Here's that area of low pressure, and you can see the whole state is receiving the snow right now from it. Arctic cold front has already moved through, and the latest with the future cast shows. Uh, the snow showers, they will continue as well. This is 8 o'clock this evening. I actually think this forecast model is a little overdone, especially in this time frame. But what we ought to see is a dominant band of snow develops sometime around tomorrow morning. And that's why the National Weather Service hasn't extended the warnings or advisories yet because they want to see how that band kind of sets up. But I tell you what, wherever this band does set up, we're looking at snowfall rates probably at least two inches an hour, and it is going to really impact traveling. So even though the current advisories and warnings expire tomorrow morning, they will be extended in some form or fashion. All right, here we go in terms of the snowfall. This takes us through this afternoon and tonight in a good solid four to eight inches. We're not changing that. And slightly lesser amounts, which you get uh, down around Kalamazoo and Battle Creek. Here's the current watches and warnings out there, and again, they extend further west as well. Here's the latest in terms of the eight day forecast, full on winter mode, right on through at least the first half of Friday. And then Saturday, we get a break. Sunday, another Arctic cold front moves through, and you can see what that does to temperatures. And of course, that's going to kick in more snow showers as well. So, very wintry looking eight day forecast, especially over the next 60 hours or so. Yeah, there's a lot of snowflakes in that eight day, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're almost running out of snowflake icons. <laughs> All These right. are the fun days for yes. Storm Team 8, though. <laughs>